Thank uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Hayreri, hayrenik, avotem astat pahpane. Otar yutun imkan kitsan ka. Ayer vogov aprum eman vach. Eske dar namu imkir ke kes karnem. Ka barvem vachen nume narotes chate. Es ke dar namu im gir ke kes karnem. Ka barvem vachen nume narotes chate. Հաչկարերը հարցունքներով կլվանա Աղոչում եմ կանշում դուր դնդարնա Դու դարձել ես ոտարի գերի Հարվեմ վախենում եմ կարոտը շարնում Կոտակ սրտում սարուսներ են գոյացել, կարացել, դարում եմ աշոն են դարձել Հաղաչում եմ կանչիր տուր տուր տուն դարնա։ This is for Armenian soldiers fighting right now, let's fucking go! Israeli stop selling fucking drones to Azerbaijan. Thank you everyone. Yes. I am Jewish. And I understand the ongoing war and history between Azerbaijan and Armenia. I encourage you to hear the words with a sense of urgency because you are listening to this with a sense of urgency. War and history between Azerbaijan and Armenia. I encourage you to hear these words with a sense of urgency because as you are listening to this, innocent lives are being lost in the form of a desperate plea I am sending to you this message from my great-grandfather Simon, my great-grandmother Ellen, my great-uncle Joseph, and the millions of other victims of the Holocaust and the Armenian Genocide whose voices were prematurely silenced. If they had survived and saw what is happening to our brothers and sisters in Armenia today, they would cry out to the world and ask all of the inhabitants to stand alongside the Armenians and prevent another genocide. Yes. They would share their stories of what it was like when, to survive. Jews were being persecuted. They were called in like numbers to be slaughtered like cattle. 
and they were being asphyxiated in gas chambers and led into death marches. To us, it's an unimaginable nightmare. For them, it was reality. And after hearing my ancestors' pleas and stories, you still choose not to recognize the horror that Armenians and Jews had to endure? Maybe the pain in their voice or the fear in their souls echoes forever will prompt you to do something. And if you couldn't hear the pain or the hurt, they would challenge you to look at the marks on their bodies. From branded tattoos that took away their names and identities to the broken bones that never healed properly. Their scars are proof of the Turks and Germans' brutality. Yes. And yes. even then, if you still choose not to listen, not to feel, and not to see, you are choosing to live in a false reality. Yes. Your silence is deafening yes. to the hopes and prayers of all the lives in jeopardy. I choose to make a noise. I choose to listen to the Armenians' cries and feel their pain and amplify their voice. Who am I? I am someone who loves. I am someone who's not afraid to face reality and defend the truths, no matter how hard they may be to accept. If I close my eyes to the truth, that does not mean it does not exist. If I think that the war is over, it doesn't mean it's over. If I don't talk about the war, that doesn't mean it's not taking place. Far from it. If I choose to stay silent and do nothing about this war, I would be guilty of perpetuating evil. When we see people who create evil, which goes against our basic human rights, and we do nothing, it's an evil that we allow to exist. And it's only, thank you, and it's only lives for as long as we allow it. We have the ability to eliminate this evil from the world, but first we have to acknowledge which is what's right and what's wrong. Only after making this distinction can we rise above and spread the good. Azerbaijan and Turkey, the news media, they have their own agenda. They fail to report the truth, leading you to believe in falsities. I choose to listen to my heart and side with the truth. And the truth is, history is repeating itself. Armenia is about to undergo another genocide and the world remains silent in the wake of the truth. Would you rather remain idle and stand still? If Jews, sorry, I got to turn the page. If Jews right now were faced with another Holocaust led by, um, oh, sorry, led by a party wanting to resurrect the Nazi party and finish what their ancestors started, what the hell, what would the world do? Exactly. Right? Exactly, you said, bro. I choose to feel with my heart and I know what's right. I will make a conscious decision to act against evil and spread love. I choose to see and to join the peaceful protests that my Armenian brothers and sisters have so bravely organized day after day after day after day to help them open the world's eyes to the imminent threat that endangers their existence. I choose to do something. Will you? Yes!